In this video, we're going to talk about the 10 best energy stocks to buy right now. So, before we begin, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for weekly updates. Let's get started. The way people make energy and use it is changing. Coal, oil, and natural gas have helped the economy grow at an amazing rate, but at a cost to our health and the environment. The switch to renewable energy is already happening, but most factories, homes, and cars around the world will still use fossil fuels for a while. Because of this, energy investors might want to hold both fossil fuel companies and renewable energy companies in their portfolios. Many energy companies are starting to do business in both. When the price of oil goes up, so does interest in renewable energy. This is a way to protect yourself. In some places, new wind and solar plants are now cheaper than new coal and natural gas plants. However, it will take time for these renewable energy sources to grow, so there will still be a market for fossil fuels, especially natural gas as a transition fuel. Here's a look at 10 of the best companies occupying different niches in the energy spectrum. Number 10. Western Midstream Partners LP, ticker, WES. Western Midstream Partners LP is a US-based company that owns, operates, acquires and develops midstream energy assets. The company through its subsidiary is engaged in the business of gathering, processing, compressing, treating and transporting natural gas, condensate, NGLs and crude oil. As long as oil and gas are produced for market, there will be room for companies that transport those commodities, such as Western, which also gathers and disposes of water produced in the process of getting oil and gas out of the ground. Western Midstream's biggest customer is Occidental Petroleum Corp., ticker, OXY, which has substantial backing from Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway Incorporated. Buffett likes Oxy, so this should be good for Western Midstream as well, says Rob Thummel, Senior Portfolio Manager with Tortoise Ecofin. Number 9. Shenyer Energy Incorporated, ticker, LNG. This exporter of U.S. liquefied natural gas, or LNG, is a premier energy company that every investor should own given the significance of U.S. LNG and Shenyer's visible multi-decade stream of cash flows. Shenyer has been benefiting from Europe's need for non-Russian sources of LNG. On September 12, the company announced an increase in its 2022 guidance for consolidated adjusted earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation and amortization of $1.2 billion, an increase in this quarter's dividend and a boost to its share repurchase authority. In July, the company announced a deal with Thailand's largest state-owned energy company. Number 8. Sivitas Resources Incorporated, ticker, CIVI. What sets this oil and gas producer apart is its low cost of operations, says Benjamin Halliburton, chief investment officer with Building Benjamins. That enables high free cash flow and a fortress balance sheet with low debt, he says. Halliburton says investor excitement about the sustainability of the company's free cash flow and dividend could help the stock double over the next year. In the second quarter, Sividos sold 284% more crude oil by volume than it did in the same period a year before. It also sold 351% more natural gas. Its average sale price for a barrel of oil equivalent rose 79%. Number 7. Suncor Energy Incorporated, ticker, SU. This Canadian energy company's operations include oil sands development and production, offshore oil and gas, petroleum refining in Canada and the US, as well as retail and wholesale distribution networks. On the renewable side, it operates an electric vehicle charging network that spans Canada. The company is selling its wind and solar assets to focus on renewable fuels and hydrogen. One of its planned projects is a hydrogen facility that would capture and store most of the carbon dioxide used in the production process. In the second quarter, oil sands production increased to 641,500 barrels per day from 615,700 in the prior year quarter. Number 6. Bloom Energy Corporation, ticker, BE. That Suncor hydrogen project would reduce Alberta's carbon dioxide emissions by more than 2 million metric tons per year, but it's still not the cleanest way to produce hydrogen because it uses natural gas. A cleaner way is to produce hydrogen from water using renewably produced electricity, and Bloom makes electrolyzers that separate water into hydrogen and oxygen. It also makes fuel cell power generation systems that can use hydrogen, biogas and natural gas to produce electricity and can be adapted for utilities in the transportation industry. Last month, Bloom praised the Inflation Reduction Act. While some companies may benefit from one or two parts of the act, we believe that Bloom can capitalize on nine key provisions, said CEO K. R. Sridhar. They range from the hydrogen production tax credit to tax credits for microgrid and biogas equipment, and support for American factories. 
Number 5. Tidewater Incorporated, ticker, TDW. Investing in the energy industry doesn't always mean buying shares of producers. Investors can also consider companies that enable the producers to do what they do, such as Tidewater, which owns and operates a fleet of vessel that supports offshore energy exploration and production around the world. Rising energy profit margins tend to fuel growth in the exploration sector and provide companies like Tidewater with a significant growth opportunity, says John Rhoda, Chief Investment Officer with Riverbend Investment Management. Over the longer term, the company appears ready to capitalize on the energy transition, as its expertise and equipment would dovetail with the expansion of the U.S. offshore wind industry. Number 4. Ersted, ticker, DNNGY. The U.S. has been a leader in onshore wind farms but has lagged behind Europe and Asia when it comes to offshore wind production facilities, which have the potential to provide significant electricity to coastal cities. Ersted is the world's largest offshore wind farm developer and was involved in developing two small pilot offshore wind projects in the U.S. It also has a robust pipeline of commercial-scale projects in various stages of development. The company recently increased its guidance and reported that in the first half of the year excluding new partnerships increased by 48%. Number 3. Charge Point Holdings Incorporated, ticker, CHPT. Charge Point is an electric vehicle charging company that appears well positioned to take advantage of increasing demand for cars and trucks that run on electricity instead of gasoline. The company says it has delivered more than 133 million charges with its network, which includes charging infrastructure as well as cloud services that allow customers to locate, reserve, authenticate and transact charging sessions. Emily Kozad, Portfolio Manager with Buckingham Advisors, expects energy prices to remain relatively elevated in the near term. If oil prices continue to remain high for an extended period, more focus will be placed on companies with renewables and EV exposure. Number 2. Sun Power Corporation, ticker, SPWR. Sun Power is an American provider of photovoltaic solar energy generation systems and battery energy storage products, primarily for residential customers. The company is headquartered in San Jose, California. The company previously developed and manufactured photovoltaic panels, before spinning off that part of its business off in 2020 as Maxion Solar Technologies. The company also previously marketed its products to commercial and industrial customers before agreeing to sell that business line to Total Energies in February 2022. In the second quarter of 2022, Sun Power increased its residential customers to 463,600 from 363,000 in the same period of 2021. Sun Power is working with First Solar Incorporated to develop the world's most advanced residential solar panels. Number 1. NextEra Energy Incorporated, ticker, NEE. NextEra Energy is the world's largest renewable energy company. In addition to solar and wind generation, NextEra is involved in green hydrogen and battery storage. The clean energy transition occurring across the U.S. is being accelerated by multiple renewable demand drivers that support our decarbonization strategy, the company said in a recent presentation. The company also said that those drivers include high oil and natural gas prices, corporate sustainability goals, and federal and state incentives. The recently passed Inflation Reduction Act significantly expanded tax incentives for clean energy, which we believe will further stimulate renewables development in the U.S. What are the advantages of investing in energy stocks? Huge markets that are crucial for the global economy. Energy is a major sector of the economy and accounts for trillions of dollars each year. The world economy needs power, creating sustained, long-term demand for the energy sector. The potential for high dividends or company growth. When energy prices go up, energy companies can reap the benefits, like by earning significantly more per barrel of oil, even though their costs stay about the same. This is a chance for them to pay higher dividends to investors or to invest for future growth. Growing global demand. As countries like China and India continue to develop, their need for energy will grow as well. This means there will be plenty of future demand both for existing energy sources like oil and gas as well as growing needs for alternative sources. Possible rebound after a recession. The energy sector struggled throughout the pandemic, due to less travel and overall demand. Now that the world is beginning to reopen, there could be a new surge in travel, pushing up demand and prices for the best energy stocks. What are the risks of investing in energy stocks? Major environmental concerns. Oil, gas and coal companies are notorious for products that emit greenhouse gases, which worsen global warming. They also have other potential environmental issues, like oil spills. Not only is this an ethical concern, 
it also makes energy companies vulnerable to costly lawsuits, which can hurt your returns. A volatile market. Energy prices can swing widely and rapidly, depending on the state of the global economy. For example, over the past 10 years the price of crude oil has gone from as high as nearly $110 a barrel to as low as less than $20 a barrel at the start of the pandemic. The value of energy stocks tends to track energy prices, making these investments more volatile and potentially riskier than stocks in other sectors. Energy companies need to make big investments. It takes considerable resources to explore new sources of energy, like drilling for new oil wells, not to mention research and development for sustainable energy technology that may not always pan out. These financial drains can potentially harm your long-term returns if enough of them coalesce. Extra Regulatory Risk As the world ramps up the fight against global warming, global leaders could enact more regulations limiting the use and production of some sources of energy, like fossil fuels. On the other hand, green companies often rely on government subsidies for development, which don't always come through, creating political risks on both sides of the energy sector. Innovation and technology may reduce long-term demand. New sources of green energy, like solar, have become dramatically less expensive over the past decade. This is cutting into the demand for coal and could also start hurting demand for oil, gas and other traditional energy sectors, potentially jeopardizing their long-term value. Do you think energy stocks are a good long-term investment? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for the best stocks to buy and latest investment strategies for building wealth. Thanks for watching.